We got to shift a little bit and when we think about the Washington football team and we think about controversy, they seem to be intertwined a whole lot lately. Not only is the team dealing with that email scandal, but their own fans are now turning against them. And this has to do with how they're honoring really a beloved former player. Yeah, uh, it's Sean Taylor's jersey retirement ceremony is drawing a lot of criticism, Leslie. Uh, in 2007, while playing with Washington, Taylor was shot in his Florida home and later died. Taylor is one of the most impactful players in Washington history, and his memory means so much to many. However, the retirement announcement comes just days after the controversial emails were leaked between former NFL head coach John Gruden and former Washington football team president Bruce Allen in only three days before the game. So Washington fans took to Twitter to express their frustration, like John Wood tweeted in part, I feel the org is using his jersey retirement on Sunday as a distraction from the context of the last four days. Sean Taylor deserves every bit of this honor, just not as deodorant to a bad situation. Now, Jake Cedar says three days notice is pathetic and unbelievable. And rally captain posted, do the right thing, cancel this impromptu ceremony and reschedule. Now, a source within the Washington football team tells me the team has been planning the retirement of Sean Taylor's number 21 jersey retirement for months. And it was always scheduled to take place on Sunday during Washington's alumni game. They also say they understand what's going on and didn't want to be tone deaf. So they announced the news on about Sean Taylor's jersey retirement today instead of on Monday when the news broke out about the controversial emails involving the Washington football team. Now, team president Jason Wright acknowledged the fans frustration tweeting Seeing the reaction, I'm very sorry that the short notice does not properly reflect the impact Sean had. Now, something to think about, though. Bobby Mitchell, the first African-American to play for the Washington football team, his jersey retirement announcement was made in June, and the ceremony took place in September. So why was Sean Taylor, a player who was bigger than just football in this community, have his jersey retirement announced just days before Sunday's game? And that is why people are questioning all of this and saying something doesn't smell right and it doesn't sound right. We'll be watching and we'll have you back a little bit later as we talk more about those mounting Washington football team controversies tonight.